Good morning, good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm on my way to the gym, 4 o'clock a.m. It's a beautiful day. Um, one thing that I figured out and I, I came to a conclusion, I had this super long, I, I don't know, I, I can talk to somebody for an hour, but I talked to my wife for about an hour, hour and a half yesterday. And I told her what I had learned. And what I had learned basically came down to two things. It came down to the conscious and the, the, the unconscious mind. And what I realized in talking with her is that the unconscious mind is so much more powerful than we think that the stuff that we say out loud, the stuff that we think, we think that because we said it and then we get over an hour later that it is not subconsciously tucked away somewhere in one of the files of our mind. Keep this in mind. What you tell yourself quietly and secretly is really how you feel, is really how you see life, and is really what you'll get back in return. If you worry or stress about something specifically, you'll get more of that. Why? Because in the folds of your mind, it is actually capturing those things, almost like a Polaroid picture. It is taking a physical picture of the emotion, the feeling, the thing that you say you do not want most, and it ultimately comes back to bite you in the ass. That's why a lot of people come to find out meditate. Meditation is a way of communicating with the subconscious mind so that you can communicate and control some of those neurons in there and make them communicate how you want them to communicate versus an emotion that you may be going through on a regular basis communicating to your brain about what it feels is the right feeling to have uh, mainly because what you think carries with you. I know it's kind of a deep subject, but just be very careful about what you tell yourself. You think that it's just in passing, like, oh, I'm so stupid. God, I hate, I, I hate my job. Ah. When you do things like that, guess what? It locks into a part of your subconscious mind and it's back there and it's stored. I mean, it's stored hard. Um, you might want to watch it. So that's my word for the day. The subconscious mind is stronger than the conscious mind. That's why you can remember things from so long ago versus things you know that may have just happened because the subconscious mind has a way of locking it in there versus the conscious mind just kind of sees what's here, what's now. And it's, you know, the, the subconscious mind is more like an old man. The conscious mind is more like a young boy. It, uh, it's very active, but yeah, it's very forgetful and it doesn't do too much of anything else. So be careful what you tell yourself. Be careful what you think. And uh, just know that you're programming your mind to do whatever it is that you want it to do. So be careful, all right? Peace. I'm on my way to the gym.